The treadle valve has two sections uh, to it. The one closest to the mechanical actuator is the primary circuit and the bottom half of the valve is the secondary circuit. Uh, this applies the service brakes to the tractor and the trailer and uh, it supplies primary air to your rear brakes independent of secondary air to your front brakes as well as your trailer. Uh, as the driver depresses the treadle valve, the piston uh, moves down to move the relay piston. The relay piston then closes the exhaust port here and then the uh, supply port is opened up here. It allows air to come out and go out to your rear service brakes. The, uh, as soon as if the driver is stepping on the, the valve uh, and requesting about 15 pounds of air, as soon as 15 pounds of air reacts against the bottom of the relay piston, it moves it up slightly, not enough to open the exhaust but enough to close this supply port. So air coming from your supply tank uh, at 120 psi is shut off when we get about 10 psi against the bottom of the piston. So unbalanced supply air comes from the tank, reacts against the piston, moves it up slightly and you go into a state of balance or hold and that's delivered onto our service brakes on the rear axle. The uh, piston in the bottom half here, the secondary relay piston, is operated by air being supplied to the primary circuit. So as air is being delivered out to the rear service brakes, it also reacts on the bottom uh, relay piston and it causes the relay piston to close the exhaust valve right here. And as it closes the exhaust valve, it then pushes on it to open up the supply port. The supply port allows air to come from the secondary tank at tank pressure. So we don't want 120 psi if it's a cutout pressure going into our service brakes. So we have to have a way of controlling or modulating the air pressure. So what happens is the engineers have designed the springs in the surface area in here so that if there's 10 psi of force being exerted in the valve, then as soon as you get 10 psi on the bottom of the piston, the relay piston, it balances. And then it closes the supply port to the tank and goes into a hold cycle supplying 10 psi to your service brakes. If the driver wanted 20 psi, he'd step on the treadle valve with more force and then as that occurs, more air would react against the secondary piston, opening it up again. Once we get 20 psi on the bottom of the piston, it balances and we go into a state of hold. Once the driver's uh, done uh, applying the service brakes, uh, the, the treadle valve's released. When the treadle valve's released, air pressure and spring pressure pushes the relay pistons all the way up opening the exhaust ports in the primary circuit and secondary circuit and exhausting melt the bottom, releasing any air in the de delivery lines to the service brakes to atmosphere.